Hey guys, my name is Chris if you didn't already know and welcome to my show Smeg Chris Review. I've not really got anything else to talk about so let me get straight into the movie review. And the film I'm going to be talking about is Borderlands. And as for the game, I have absolutely no idea what it's about or anything because I've never seen any gameplay, I've never played it myself. So I'm just going off of what I've seen in the movie. I know it's had a lot of bad reviews, I'm assuming because they're comparing it to the games, but like I said, I've never played any of them, never seen anything of them, so I've no idea. So let me start with the good stuff. For example, the characters are fantastic. Again, I don't know if any of these characters are in the games, I've no idea. Every character we were introduced to, I was finding very interesting. Now I'm not saying I don't like Kevin Hart, but normally I don't like his characters. In this I do. He's not his quick-witted, quipping weak type character. He's actually tough as nails and quite interesting to watch. Yes I know, I'm throwing my hands about a lot, I've just realised. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can keep them from doing that. However, that being said, one of the characters played by Jack Black, the little robot, at first I thought he was interesting, but the more I watched him, the more annoying he got. And it got to the point where I was thinking, Please, please destroy this little robot. Just get rid of him. He's annoying. As for the story itself, I mean, it's nothing extravagant. It's something we've seen before. And I mean, a lot of times before. But what I did enjoy was, well, I, I was about to say the special effects. There's some special effects that aren't so great. I'll get to that. And there's some really good battles that happen as well. Lots of good fight scenes. And as the characters sort of intermingle and become a team, I just started to enjoy them more and more. And then Jamie Lee Curtis showed up and wow, I thought she was brilliant. I love it when she does comedic roles. Now let's get to a lot of the bad. First and foremost, the plot twist that comes at the end, I kind of figured that out within the first 10 minutes of the movie. And I'm not even joking about the fact that Kate Blanchett's character came from that planet and then there's this prophecy and I was like, turn two, mate, four. And I was right. I'm waving my hands about again. Stop it, Chris. Stop it. Like I said, some of the CGI was good. A lot of it was bad. For example, whenever we saw one of the bad guys sort of flying in their space vehicle thing, and you can clearly tell that the background is all CGI. It was just really bad. It basically reminded me of Flash Gordon, the movie. And I ain't even kidding about that. As for the villains, we didn't really meet the main one until near the end. And he was sort of, well, not very three-dimensional. He was sort of a one-sided character and not much development there. <sighs> Another thing that really, really annoyed me, apart from Jack Black's little robot, was the music. You didn't know it was there because it was that quiet at most of the times. We were halfway through a scene and there was a song playing, I can't remember which song, and I'm like, oh, there's actually a, some music here. Where, where did that come from? And it was the same for the score music. We couldn't really hear much of that either, uh, most of the time. And another thing that was annoying me was the fact that Kate Blanchett, she's a fantastic actress. I think she's brilliant. But for some reason, her American accent was bad. I don't know why they allowed her to do that. Normally, she can do great accents. Let's put it this way. It was almost as bad as Benedict Cumberbatch's American accent in Doctor Strange. But all that being said, I actually enjoyed the movie. Like I said, there were some great battle scenes. The chemistry between the characters was fantastic. And even though the story was cliched and we've seen it many times before, I actually thought it was gelled together quite perfectly. You know, you didn't get confusing at all. It was pretty straightforward and it was easy to follow. One thing I've heard is that the people are comparing it to Guardians of the Galaxy and I can't understand why. Yes, there are a group of misfits that get together in space, but other than that, what's what's the similarity there? I don't get it. I honestly thoroughly enjoyed the movie, apart from all the bad things that I've mentioned. So with that all being said, I'm going to give Borderlands a... It's not the best film I've seen this year, but it's definitely not the worst. And there you go, that's my review of Borderlands. Whether it'll end up in my collection, who knows. Maybe. I mean, I know I've got films that are worse than Borderlands in this collection somewhere. I'm pretty sure of it. Anyway, it's now time for me to go, so all that's left for me to say is thank you for watching and subscribing if you have, and liking this video if you did. Until the next time, peace out. I really need to stop waving my hands about when I'm doing these videos. <laughs> I've heard that people are touting that this film, Borderlands, is the worst video game adaption 
ever made. No, 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 no. There are two others that are worse. A lot worse. And I think people have seemed to have forgotten about them. The first one, Mortal Kombat Annihilation. I recently re-watched it again and I was like, why have I got this complete mess of a film? It is horrible. Honestly, it is terrible. And the other one, anyone remember the Super Mario Brothers starring Bob Hoskins? Mmm, awful. And I'm pretty sure there are others too that I think are worse than Borderlands. It's just that they're so bad I can't quite remember them. Hmm.